What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and today I'm here to talk about Warhammer 40k once again. If you guys are new to the channel, what we do here at One Mind Syndicate is that we provide you guys with 40k videos each and every day. And if you guys want that to keep on going, you guys can support us by doing everything that YouTube's algorithm wants you to, which is like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and if you guys want to go the extra mile, we do have a Patreon page, where you guys can pledge just a simple dollar a month, and that'll help us tremendously in getting out these 40k videos. But with that out of the way, let's dive into the meat and potatoes of this video, which is all about the Blanchitsu style of painting. Now here at One Mind Syndicate, we focus on the lore, which is a pretty big integral part of the hobby, but there's so much more to that when it comes to 40k. The conversions, the building, the painting, all of that is another huge aspect that many players really, really enjoy. And Blanchitsu is just a style of painting, modeling, converting that really gives you that old school grim dark feel. Now it's a little weird that I'm talking about this because <laughs> uh, Gershwan, he's the painter. He's got the creativity, he's got the skills to do this type of work. And um, just to see some of that, you guys should check out the latest video on the Armager. That, at the end of that video, Gershwan shows you an armager that he's painted, and it's pretty badass. <laughs> so, let's dive into this com community, Warhammer community article, that was posted not too long ago. Again, links are going to be all in the description, so you guys can check it out in your entirety. And, let's see what they've got for the Dark Mechanicum. I wish I could have said that, but no, <laughs> the Dark Mechanicum is not here. It could be, it should be, it has to be. Because when you look at these models and just the craziness of it, like GW really needs to focus on giving us a Dark Mechanicus faction. Because when you see these models, whew, man. So basically, Blanchitsu is a style that dates back to the 1990s. John Blanche basically had these old school illustrations that you saw in like codices and the 40K rulebook. And I'm sure you'll recognize them right away. Basically, it shows you the oppressive darkness of 40k, and you can really see how the landscapes and the characters really showcase that. Now, the models that we see here all come from this painting. This painting is called the Catechism of the Autoculus of Mars. Quite <laughs> a mouthful, but this is just crazy. Like, look at the detail the way that the background kind of meshes and blends in with one another but it's at the same time the forefronted characters really pop and they've got a whole bunch of character so this is where we see the artist really take inspiration for his creations so without further ado let's look at the first one and here we see this awesome awesome mechanicus dude He's got some type of like thunder hammer that he's holding on to, but just look at the intricacies, the details, just the way the kind of armor and flesh are almost indistinguishable at certain points. It's crazy to think that people can just outright do all these crazy conversions just by looking at a freaking picture. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to start to find a mini that is basically built this way um i'm telling you man if you guys are into the hobby of like creating things and just conversion work like you really have to be very very created to make it work um there is another youtube channel that focuses on conversion work and whatnot pete the war gamer definitely check him out just to see the craziness that that guy can do now we're going to be skipping a few and going to probably one of my favorite models that is <laughs> showcased here. I mean, look at this guy. It's just such an epic model. I almost feel like there's too much model for the base. Like, oh my goodness. It is... Whew. Where do I even start? <laughs> 
like just the way that you see like the Mars landscape and how like the dust and debris is still stuck onto the tracks on the bottom that looks really cool the skulls the wires the tendrils all that just adds flair and personality to this guy um, I don't know why but I'm really digging like the almost decomposing bluish ghoulish uh, skin color that he chose for these Mechanicus dudes and it really gives you a sense of like these guys are not human <laughs> like what they once were they no longer are they're more mechanics and machine than they were person at this point but there's still that little bit there that kind of binds them to humanity and it's just crazy to see like you look at the picture here and like you get a good look at the guy but then once you branch out from the image you really start to see the creative freedom and just all the awesomeness that is this model like you don't see the tank treads you don't see that little green canister of fluid in the back there so it, it just i'm cr like i'm just amazed how people can do this i wish i was that creative and that good at like painting and converting it really is fun it really adds a second layer to the whole hobby because i mean you can always just bust out like your ultramarine blue and paint an ultramarine you know and be done with it but that's just a regular old ultramarine in a static pose like obviously you can drill out the barrel add a little bit more embellishment more details maybe a little bit more flock to the base but this is just going 120 <laughs> percent over it's crazy man and like the more i keep going and the more i keep seeing all these intricacies like oh jeez, like just turning the model around and seeing that vat in there like oh dude this literally is a mechanical monstrosity ah <sighs> it's just so great to see that there are people like this within the hobby creating just awesome works of art and speaking of awesome works of art check out this guy <laughs> right here like your eyes automatically get drawn to the blues i feel the blues and the reds and then your eyes just have dessert <laughs> like the amalgamation of wires and tendrils and you got people like almost bursting out of this snake like ball of just i don't even know cables like it's just so Ah, oh, I love it. They almost look like Electro Priests. Um, that might be where he got the models from. And then your eyes focus on the red, and then you see the brain in the jar. That's really badass. Um, like I said, <laughs> how do people come up with this? Like, I know this is all can't just be green stuff that he's doing. Like, GW really needs to capitalize on this. I mean, just look at the intricacies, the awesome ideas people have, like, make that into a faction. Allow the Dark Mechanicus, or just the Mechanicus, to go wild. Because um, when you look at, like, the Skitari, the Onager Dune Crawlers, yeah, that's pretty tame. But look at this thing, it's a freaking skull! <laughs> a skull tank. Like, we've seen several skulls and, and whatnot, but like this, yeah, this is what I want. Um, but I'm going to stop gushing over this guy's art. Um, Mikhail, I believe is his name. Uh, uh, like, all his links to his like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, that's all going to be in the description down. So check out the Warhammer community article. And if you scroll all the way down, you'll see all the information near the end of the article. But really, go ahead and click on the article. Because like I said, I didn't go over every model. And man, there are some great ones here. Like, whew. But anyway, let me know if you guys are great painters. Let me know some painting tips. Have you guys ever done anything in this Blanchitsu style? And let me know what you guys think about these awesome monstrosities that he's created. And uh, I, for one, definitely want the Dark Mechanicus as a playable race. Do you guys? So that's all I got for today, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And as always, this has been the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.